all right hello everybody and welcome back to another video this video will be on the 10 foot tall uh pumpkin reaper or i guess just reaper it's mostly a pumpkin reaper um anyways let's open this thing up this thing will be in store so as you can see easy fun it'll probably be on display as well um this thing is at home depot for 100 dollars so that's pretty cool uh, look, look at this tape watch this okay never mind don't watch that i failed uh, i tried opening it with my hands but i guess i do need the box cutter so it seems like jim is kind of getting lazier with their shipping like boxing i guess here's the stupid instructions that nobody uses and needs all right here are the stakes you know usual normal stakes with crappy metal stakes and the, uh, you know, normal stakes. Let's get this thing out of the box here, and, uh, yeah. All right, well, here it is all laid out. I tried checking the fan, but sadly I couldn't. Uh, if I'm going to guess anything, it's probably like a YF80 or maybe a slow starter from what it looks like. Um, anyways, let's get this thing inflated. Okay, here we go. Never mind, put it the wrong way, Lloyd. Alright, here it is. So, I believe this is a slow start. If I'm not, I think it could be, I don't think so. Here it is, staying at 10 feet tall. It's actually pretty, I like the design on this thing, which is why I bought it. Uh, I know a lot of people have mixed feelings on this. Sadly, it um, doesn't have a flickering lantern, uh, flickering C7 or yeah, whatever those are. It does, I believe, have four of them. There's one in the uh, raven or crow or whatever that is. There's one in the chest, one in the head, and one in the lantern. I don't believe there's any from like here on down at all, which kind of sucks. But I mean, you do kind of see the main parts of it with the lights. Um, it has two tether attachments, one here and then one here. It no, they don't want, Home Depot no longer puts the ones in the back, which I find very interesting. And it comes with this green, cloth as well which I find pretty cool. This thing is like a little slanted you know put it from the side view as you can see look it kind of like goes up and then bend kind of bends around a bit. I remember from the picture of this thing it seemed as if the head was kind of looking more down but here it seems like it's more looking straight up than down which kind of sucks. Um, there's the crow can't really see it. I can't really see its face. I'm not tall enough, but it's 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 definitely a nice little detail. I do I I think though that it wasn't very necessary, but it does actually kind of bring more detail to the inflatable. And also, it has the fuzz. I can't tell fuzz right there on its neck. It also is a skeleton for some odd reason. This inflatable is pretty good for a hundred, I have to admit it. Um, of course, I mean, I'm just glad that's a base fan, not a cheap fan like uh, the nine foot ghost. <laughs> they also do have a tree one, which has a base fan, but that one didn't really catch my eye at all. This one's really cool. I like it. Oh, it's a butterfly. Um, but this one's really nice. I like the detail on it, especially with like a new, de like, Kind of a new make for the uh, pumpkin reapers it's more of a grim reaper look now one thing that i do think they could have done with this is actually just get rid of the pumpkin head they could have done a skull made it a reaper or maybe just have like black uh fabric making it like look like a phantom or something 
that would have been way better in my opinion. Because look at this. I believe these are supposed to be like skeleton hands or something. There's a skeleton chest. That has a skeleton chest. They could have made it a skeleton or reaper, but I still like, I still like it because of the nice design. It's falling over. Okay. Sorry about that. Uh, big gust of wind came. I don't have this thing sticked out. But uh, yeah, definitely a really nice design. I really like it. Um, Ten feet is still pretty nice. I kind of do wish that it was 12 feet, but I mean, you get what you get. Home Depot no longer, I guess, sells the 12 footers and now they're moving on to more licensed stuff and bigger stuff like the 14 foot Oogie Boogie that I might get um, if it ever goes on sale and it's available. Um, but yeah, this thing's really nice. Uh, I would recommend it if you just kind of want something kind of Reaper Ghoulie, Ghoul Reaper-ish type thing. I don't know what to say how to explain it. Uh, if you don't like the design, then that's okay. I mean, again, I think the lighting option was a little odd. I wish they put a flickering lantern like the one at Lowe's, that Grim Reaper one. Um, and again, the, the, the Raven Crow, that wasn't necessary. They could have made it without it, but again, it gives more detail to the inflatable. The vulture? Oh, I guess it is a vulture. Okay, never mind. That's a vulture. Um, I said that wrong the whole video. But, um, yeah. So here I'll do a full 360 view of it. Though you can do that on the website, but who cares. Yeah, it's definitely pretty nice. Um, I think it's a good deal for 100 I mean, usually this thing would be 50 at like yard inflatables or something 75 somewhere around there um but i mean it's definitely a really nice inflatable to get i would recommend it uh, especially with its nice looking design that's gonna be it for this video i'll see you all in the next one bye